remember me? I hope so. This is Guy Crush 9. And this is Pokemon Yellow. And this is an HM. If you remember from the last video, we finished up the SSN. And I just taught the Bell Sprout that I caught a while back. Cut! And also, we're gonna use the Dig TM before we get started on Graveler. If you remember, Graveler is a rock and ground type, however, it doesn't learn any rock type moves until level 36, and I can't wait that long, so we're gonna teach it Dig. So, you need Cut in order to get access to the gym, unless you skip ahead to the game to where you get Surf, but that would take way too long, so hold on a sec. Because it's time for another War Room! Today we're doing Vermilion City Gym! Yay! Overview! There is one more trend than last time! Ha, uh, see a trend here? And the type used, according to the picture, is electric. Remember though, there are no steel types in this iteration, and you'll see why. Minimum level of 24 to 26. Trainers love using sonic booms, so be careful. This gym has a puzzle. It involves two switches, however the second switch is always right next to the first. And only the leader in the yellow version has an electric type move. However, ground types make it immune. Wow, well Pokemon Dug Trio is a very fast Pokemon. It learns Dig without a TM. Graveler, it's rock type defense against the leader's normal type moves, and there are powerful moves too. You can also use Sand Slash, however, it doesn't have any good moves, so skip. Okay, so let's get started. Yo, Champion Macon, Lieutenant Surge is a nickname. People refer to him as a Lightning American. He's an expert on electric Pokemon. Birds and water Pokemon at risk. Beware of paralysis too. Lieutenant Surge is very cautious. You'll have to break the code to get to him. Ah, uh, so the American is the first one to use puzzles, eh? See how we're so smart? Ha <laughs> ha, stereotypes. Yeah, yeah, I'm biased. Whatever. Anyway, it's a sailor. He has one Pokemon. It's a Magnemite! And he's done. Like dinner. Wow, you surprised me. Haha. <laughs> and yeah, he used the Sonic Boom. I hate Sonic Boom. Remember, it's a normal type move. However, it always does 20 HP no matter what type you're using it on. I don't know if it works on Go, so I'm gonna have to try that. Anyway, it's a new sprite for the game. Rocker. Not Rocket. Voltorb. Voltorb! <laughs> Voltorb! Man, what is it with these people that have just the same Pokémon over and over again and expect different results? Losers, ugh. Okay, so, uh, there's one other trainer, and let's deal with him now. When I was in the army, Lieutenant Surge was my strict CO. Okay, what does that do for you? Really, does that- is that supposed to scare me or something? Anyways, he has a Voltorb, again. And another Magnemite! So yeah, all the trainers have it as Voltorbs and Magnemites, and... Remember, version has no Steel types, so they're just pure electric. So, yeah. So anyways, let's deal with the puzzle now, and I'm probably gonna have to cut out a bit of video just to skip to the part, because this might take me a while, so yeah. Uh, not that trash. Figures, it's the last trash can I check. Alright, let's give it a shot. Oh yes! Oh man, first try! <laughs> oh man, I'm lucky. Yeah, it's very helpful to find the switch in the corner. Wait, hold on! Ah, no switch, okay. Alright, now we're free to take on the gym leader. Ten Hut, welcome to Vermilion Gym. Will you look at that? A punt sized challenger. <laughs> you got big and brassy nerves to take me on with your puny power. Pokemon Bell is war! I'll show you, civilian! I'll shock you into surrender! Wow, this guy needs to take a chill pill or something, or at least get off the steroids. This is... Lieutenant Surge! And he has one Pokemon for yellow. And that is his faithful Raichu. And this is the only time we'll fight a, or even see a Raichu in the entire game. I know, pretty retarded. Anyways, he knows Mega Punch, Mega Kick, Growl, and Thunderbolt. The Mega Punch and Mega Kick, despite what you may think, are normal type moves. So that's why Graveler is... Oh, come on! One hit?! Oh my god, what the hell was that? That was nothing, wow. How pathetic. Even more pathetic than Misty's hardened strategy. Whoa! You're the real deal, kid. Fine, then take the Thunder Badge. Yeah, I got a lot of money, yay. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I guess Graveler really breaks this battle because Mega Punch and Mega Kick are not very effective against Rock-type. 
and he's gonna give us TM24 this time. This is for Thunderbolt. We just learned that with Pikachu in just the last video, so pretty useless for us, I suppose. A little bit of a skin, delicious, he sure is powerful, but it's useless against ground type Pokemon. Yeah, we already knew that. That's why we have to stick the Graveler on you. Jeez, pay attention! Anyways, yay. Woo, that match was electric. No, it wasn't. I killed him in one hit! Seriously, dude. You don't just like. I mean, God, like, ugh, oh, whatever. Whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Let's go to the center real quick. Alright, now that I'm done healing, let's talk to Officer Jenny. You have the Thunder Badge? You must be a pretty good trainer. I just caught a squirrel that was close to getting into mischief. Would you take care of it? Oh, hell yeah. I got a squirrel. You want to give it? No, I don't want to. So that is the final of the three Kanto starters. We finally have Squirtle, and this one actually starts at level 10. Uh, a very useful water type if you decide to have it, but uh, again, I'm not going to use... I'm only using Charmander to start a while, so let's put him back in the PC. Okay, now that I'm done with that, uh, I'm not looking forward to this next part. Alright, first let's read the slide. Notice! Route 12 may be blocked up. Okay, old news. Detour to Rock Tunnel to Lavender Town. That is actually where we're supposed to go next. However, we need something in order to get to or through Rock Tunnel, and it's through here. So, this is the Diglett Tunnel, and this is my item screen, because I finally bought something that I've been looking forward to for a while now. Repel! Haha! <laughs> no more, um... Five second cutting of video footage anymore. Diglett's cave has only two Pokemon, Diglett and Doug Trio. However, you do not want to fight a Doug Trio at this point in the game because the Diglett's come in around 18 to 22. Doug Trio comes in at about 29. Yeah, it's scary if you fight one of those things. Uh, you'll probably lose a Pokemon or two, even if you use Gloom because. Um, even if you send out Gloom or Bellsprout, it's Dig move, it'll know Dig by then. It's super effective against it because, um, it, it grass, like, has no resistance to ground, and then uh, poison is weak to ground, so yeah. So, the end result of Diglett's Cave is Route 2. If you remember, this is the place where Viridian Forest was located. And this house is pretty important. Uh, we got another trade. This guy wants a, a Clefairy for our Mr. Mime. This is the only way you can get Mr. Mime in the entire game. In red and blue, the trade offer is actually Abra, so I think in yellow version it's a lot better because it's very annoying trying to catch an Abra. Uh, but Clefairy is not that bad. So this is this building here is why we came to Route 2, is this guy. I'm Professor Oaks 8 again. If you've got 10 kinds of Pokemon, I'm supposed to give it in each Zambo 5. So, as long as you've caught some Pokemon, you should be able to get this HM. It's for Flash, and if you remember, uh, when we defeated Brock, we gained the ability to use Flash. Um, its main use is for Rock Tunnel, because Rock Tunnel is a dark place, and uh, Flash allows you to navigate it easier. So if you leave the building to the south, you'll get an HP up, and a Moonstone. And you can cut any of these trees, and it'll get you quick access to Viridian City. So yeah, but uh, hold on a sec. Remember this guy? I hope so, he was just a few minutes ago. Or a minute, I don't know. Anyways, this guy... If you remember, if I caught a Clefairy during my SKs in Mount Moon, in fact it was the Pokemon Cache I actually decided it was important enough to show during that, because Clefairies are kinda rare in Mount Moon. Um, but... You know, I decided, um, since Mr. Mom can only be got and gotten through this trade, I decided I might as well do it, and besides, uh, I can always catch another Clefairy and then evolve it into a Clefable if I need the Pokemon. Uh, there are items in this game, like the Item Finder and the Flash HM. I'm gonna need more Pokemon eventually, but for now, I don't really care. Mr. Mime is mine! Now, I heard, uh, like, according to one of his own videos, uh, Chugga apparently used the Mr. Mime in his Fire Red LP. I've never watched that LP, so... Uh, don't go rambling on about me. And this guy called his Mr. Mime Miles. I don't understand that. I wonder if it's a female. <laughs> that would be ironic. Anyways, like, he apparently showed off how good Mr. Mime can really be. And, and I would go with it. The problem is, is that, um, 
all the trainers have like slightly elevated levels in this game. And right now, I can only control traded Pokemon up to level 30, and that's only like five levels away from where my Pokemon are right now, so... Yeah, that'd be kind of inconvenient. I have to wait till Erica, basically. Yeah, spoilers, whatever, but... I have to wait till the fourth gym leader in order to, um... Control higher levels, so... I'm probably gonna stick with Hypno. So yeah, I'm back in Pewter City, and... I'm gonna seize a particular opportunity. <laughs> Finally! A mistake made so long ago, it's finally corrected! TMO4! Whirlwind! <laughs>